This course consists of two parts. In the first part, the concept of chevron folding is explained, and in the second part, the subject of folds in shear zones is explained. Before starting our lesson, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like the video and write a comment. Let's start our lesson right away. Chevron folding, also known as chevron folds, is a specific type of geological fold structure characterized by its V-shaped or zigzag pattern. These folds are a common feature in areas of intense tectonic deformation, and they provide valuable insights into the complex history of Earth's crust. Let's delve deeper into the concept of chevron folding. Formation of chevron folds Chevron folds form in response to compressional forces that act on rocks within the Earth's crust. These forces cause the rocks to bend and deform, leading to the development of folds. The unique V-shaped appearance of chevron folds results from the alternating orientation of the limbs, or sides, of the fold. One limb of the fold is oriented in one direction, and the adjacent limb points in the opposite direction, creating a zigzag or chevron pattern when viewed from above. Geometry and Characteristics Symmetry Chevron folds are typically symmetric, with equal angles between the limbs. This symmetrical pattern results from the balanced compression and deformation of rocks. Amplitude The amplitude of a chevron fold refers to the size of the individual folds within the larger structure. Chevron folds can vary in size, from small-scale features to large, regional structures. Axial plane the axial plane of a chevron fold is the imaginary plane that divides the fold into two equal halves. It runs along the hinge line, which is the central line along the top of the V-shaped fold. Significance The study of chevron folds is important for several reasons. Tectonic history Chevron folds provide valuable information about the history of tectonic forces and deformation within a region. By analyzing the orientation and geometry of chevron folds, geologists can deduce the direction and magnitude of past compressional forces. Strain analysis Chevron folds are used in structural geology to analyze the amount of strain that rocks have undergone. By measuring the angles and orientations of the limbs, geologists can calculate the amount of shortening that occurred during the folding process. Resource exploration Chevron folds can be associated with the formation of ore deposits and hydrocarbon reservoirs. Understanding the geometry and distribution of these folds is crucial for resource exploration and exploitation. Tectonic models The presence of chevron folds in specific geological settings can help geologists build tectonic models and reconstruct the geological history of an area. Chevron folding is just one of the many fold structures that geologists use to unravel the geological history of Earth's crust. By studying these folds, researchers gain valuable insights into the processes that shape the Earth's surface and the forces that have acted upon it over geological time scales. Folds in Shear Zones Folds in shear zones are geological structures that result from the complex deformation and strain patterns that occur in areas of the Earth's crust known as shear zones. Shear zones are regions where rocks are subjected to horizontal movement in opposite directions along closely spaced fault surfaces. These zones are characterized by intense shearing, where rocks slide past each other horizontally. The formation of folds in shear zones is a result of the interaction between compressional and shearing forces. As the rocks within a shear zone experience horizontal movement, they also experience vertical and horizontal compression due to the tectonic stresses acting upon them. This combination of forces can lead to the development of a variety of fold structures, including sheath folds, these are tight, often elongated folds that develop in the high-strain zones within shear zones. Sheath folds typically have a planar geometry and are oriented parallel to the direction of shearing. They can form in rocks that are initially competent and brittle. Box folds 
box folds are typically found in the low-strain regions of shear zones. They are more open and have a more rounded or boxy shape, hence the name. These folds can develop in rocks that undergo ductal deformation and are more malleable. Flanking folds, these folds often occur along the flanks of shear zones and can be found both within the high strain and low strain portions. They are asymmetric and can vary in shape and size depending on the local geological conditions. Folds in shear zones are essential features for geologists as they provide valuable information about the history of tectonic forces and deformation within the Earth's crust. The orientation, shape, and size of these folds can reveal the direction and intensity of shearing, as well as the relative movement of rock units. In some cases, shear zones and the associated folds can also be associated with the emplacement of important geological features, such as ore deposits and mineralization. Geologists study these structures to better understand the evolution of shear zones and their potential economic significance. Furthermore, the study of folds in shear zones is not limited to Earth's geology. Similar structures and processes can be found on other planets, such as Mars, providing insights into the tectonic history and geological evolution of celestial bodies beyond our own planet. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like the video and write a comment.